What's up guys, it's Manny here back with another video and recently I've been getting a few comments, um, uh, a couple DMs about people with unique situations that still want to um, play Division One basketball, play college basketball, maybe, maybe you know play in the pros, things like that. So I'm, in this video I'm going to go over, you know, if you're in a unique situation, whether it be you don't live in the United States or you might be older and never, you know, did the traditional high school to college to AAU route, uh, I'm going to be giving you guys everything that you need to know on how to still make your dreams come true. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to understand, you know, whether you're overseas um, and, you know, you're in a foreign country to the United States um, or you just have a non-traditional route um, is that it, you can still do it, you know. It, pretty much the only thing that is stopping you is is um, if you don't have any eligibility or like whether you've played for a, for a pro team already that could get kind of sticky um, or you've used all your eligibility things like that but other than that you can do it you, you might have to get a little creative but but it is possible for the most part so I, I'll start with with the people overseas so you know if you guys are overseas and, and, I, and I've heard COVID restrictions are a little bit different over there might be uh, more strict um, and you know you, you might not be playing your season and things like that here's some of the things that you can do so the first thing you can do is you have to utilize the digital age to your advantage and I know I've talked about this before um, but you got you got to talk to your coaches um, you, you, you've got to leverage Twitter even TikTok, Instagram um, you, you've got to leverage that uh, to your advantage. You've got to, you've got to have film. You got to have your coaches uh, have film. You've got to be talking to to scouts. Uh, you know, there's a lot of scouts from America that are overseas um, that have been overseas. There's a lot of coaches overseas that have relationships with these scouts. You got to figure out on Facebook. You can find out um, who who these scouts are, um, what coaches in your area or your country that have relationships with them and you need to reach out. You've got to, you got to get creative and you got to work hard for this because you're in a little bit different situation. So you got to use film. Film's going to be key. Well, I don't really have any film. Okay. Well, you know, you need to, you need to go get a workout in and, and get it filmed, get a, get a professional film. And I doesn't have to be professional, but like get it filmed, have some decent quality. You know, sometimes I see videos where someone's like iPhone or something and, and you can do that. But if you, if you want to actually get looks and stuff, got to be some decent quality. So have a friend, you know, who has a pretty nice camera film you, film you doing a workout. Um, and then also talk to the coaches, any coach you have, um, and, and then use those coaches connections, uh, to, to meet other people. Um, and, and by doing this and, and, and really, you know, you know, letting people know like, Hey, I want to go give this a shot in the United States. Um, you know, your name is going to get out there. If you can play, if you're good, um, your name is going to get out there. Um, and, and eventually, you know, some things will start falling in your direction. Um, but it takes patience. It takes a lot of networking. Basketball is not all about just, you know, who, who's the best at putting the ball through the hoop. You got to network, leverage your coaches, um, leverage any scouts, you know, um, and, and, and then leverage social media, leverage the digital age. Trust me on that. Um, and then do some work yourself. Go, go on, the, on the internet and start reaching out to schools. Um, I know a lot of D2 schools, NAI schools, um, you know, would love to, to, to get someone to come over um, and, and play for them. You know, Division One would be a little bit harder, but you got to re reach out to the graduate assistants. Reach out to the director of basketball operations because even sometimes you won't you you'll get a lot of non responses and things like that. But sometimes you get a few responses um, and you know they can they can point you in the right direction of someone in America and then you can build that relationship. Um, so so there's really really no excuse. Uh, it, it might be a little tougher for someone who's not you know right in the backyard of a of a college in the United States, but it can be done. You just got to put the work in. For for the, the the people in America who may have just had a had a different route, you know the principles stay the same. You know maybe you didn't you didn't play that much AAU, um, and I I, I message uh, one of my guys on, on Instagram, uh, one of the viewers, and he, he talked about you know he, he's he's 27. He's got all his years of eligibility. Uh, might be 26. My bad. But you, you get the gist. Um, he, he's got all his years of eligibility. Um, you know, he, he's got some film of, of, of some of the stuff he's done. Um, so look, hey, go, go apply to a school. And that's exactly what he did. He's, he's applying to a school. He's going to see if he gets accepted. And then, you know, you get accepted to the school, then boom, right in there, right to the gym. Go meet the coach. Go find out, the, hey, coach, uh, I want to try out for the team. Um, 
you know, uh, I, this is my dream. Uh, I can really do some things. Just give me a chance. Like, boom, take action. Go do something. You can always do that. If you got, you, you've got eligibility left, go to apply to a school. Go, go find a junior college. Reach out, like, email, um, you know, find numbers. The, the, the athletic department uh, um, on the college's websites, a lot of times they have email addresses, numbers of people involved with the basketball program. Go do that. Call them. Hey, you know, coach, I want to try out whatever. Um, I, I think I can add value to the team. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting accepted into the school next week. Uh, I'd love to meet with you and chat um, and, and then go from there. And, you know, you might have to start off as a walk on, but show your worth, you know, show that you've been watching your film, getting in the gym every single day. Um, and, and then, boom, you, there, you, there you go. You, you went a different route than the, than the traditional route and you're on a college basketball team. Um, and s same as, as going pro, you know, it doesn't have to be college. You can, you can do this. Get on Facebook, find an agent um, on Facebook, and, and get a contract overseas. Like th this stuff, I, I'm not kidding you. You can do this. You got to have some type of baseline skill, but other than that, it's just hard work, networking, and you will end up where you want. Um, you just got to take action. Action is the main thing. You can't sit and talk about it. You can't just watch a bunch of YouTube videos. You have to take action and do it. Um, and I promise that you know you can make these things happen. With that being said, guys, I know I was, I was kind of rambling a little bit from the from the European side or the overseas side, not just European, you know, any other uh, country or continent outside of America and then versus the unorthodox American path that some people have to take. Um, so, yeah, talked a little bit on it, but, but watch the video, take notes. Um, you can do these things. Reach out to schools, apply to schools that you want to go to, get accepted. You know, talk to the coaches, let them know, hey, I bring this, this and this to the table. Maybe send them some film. Talk to the director of basketball operations. Get on, get on a, a grad assistance number. You can do these things. Um, it's not going to be easy. You're going to get told no a ton of times. But the beauty of it is, you literally only need to be told yes once. You could be told no five thousand times, but if you get told yes once, you're good. You're golden. So keep that mindset when when you get fifteen no's in a row, because I guarantee that's probably how it's going to go at first. Um, you know, you might get lucky and get a yes off the bat. I, I pray for that, but, but you're going to get a lot of no's. You're going to get a lot of no responses. Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I promise you're going to get that one. Yes. And it's going to change your life. Um, just keep going. That's what we do. Manny Watkins basketball channel. We keep going through the adversity. That's the main thing I want you guys to take from this. Um, and you know, do that and I promise you guys will uh, will be in the, the right situation. So with that being said, guys, this is the Manny Watkins Basketball Channel and I will see you in the next video.